Hi, welcome to Ringside with Kayla. Today I'm here with the one and only, the legend, Michael Carbajal. Now, Michael, you've had such a historic, legendary career in the sport of boxing. You know, you were um, you were a six-time world champion. You were also an Olympic medalist. Uh, you were also the fighter of the year for Ring Magazine in 1993. What does it mean to you to have so much accomplishments? And also, you're also known as one of the greatest in the sport of boxing. What does it mean to you to have that representation to your name? Well, I mean, it means a lot. You know, at, at first, I really wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was just getting in there because I love to fight. And um, I knew I knew I was going to be a world champion because that's what I wanted from the get-go. And um, I've always wanted, I said, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to retire a world champion. I don't want to stay there too long like all, all the fighters do. And I said, no. This is the right opportunity. When I fought Jorge Arce, I said, this is it. I better, I better knock him out. And we're in his hometown, so I got to knock him out. And Jorge Arce was, was a good fighter. He surprised me, and he was winning the fight. And um, I knocked him out in the 11th round. That was so awesome. I said, this is it. I, at first, in the interview, I said, man, I can still fight. I can still fight. And I said, you know what? When I got home, started thinking about it, I said, no, nah, I'm going to stay a world champion. I'm going to retire a world champion. And everything came out great. You know, my whole career came out great. I couldn't, I can't, when I look back, I said, man, I did all that, and I can't even believe it. And being that whenever you fought George Arce, um, I remember hearing in another interview where when you were a child, you told your dad that you wanted to become world champion, and you also wanted to retire as world champion. And then being that... Whenever you retired and you came out of retirement and you got that title back and retired world champion like you told your father, um, you know, how was that experience? Did you feel like you finally accomplished everything that you said and what you, that you were set to do? Well, see, that's what, that's what um, surprised me because I still wanted to fight, but I said, you know what, they're a little bit too quick for me now. I was already 32 years old. I, I'm not, they're, they're too quick and I, I just... I just played it smart and I said, you know what, I'm just going to retire. This is when I came back home and I started thinking about it and I said, that's it, I'm, I'm done. But my dad, you know, I told my dad that and I did it. And you also had a historical trilogy against Shakira Gonzalez. You know, you guys were the first junior flyweights to bring a million dollar purse to that division. And that first fight between you guys was considered as fighter, a fight of the year. How proud were you of yourself for that accomplishment? And what was it like sharing the ring with him three times? Oh, it was, it was great. You know, we, we were made for each other. And, um, you know, that first fight was unbelievable. So when he knocked me down twice and that sec the first knockdown, it didn't hurt me too much. It, it was just a good shot. But that second knockdown, I was hurt bad. <laughs> I said, but I still knew what I was doing when I hit the, the canvas. I said, man, I got to get up. What am I doing down here? So I got up and just came back and I knocked him out in the seventh round. And it, it, I was, it was just an unbelievable fight. I, I loved it. And you had such a successful amateur career, but coming into your professional career, your professional debut was on the undercard for the Iran Barkley and Roberta Duran card. You know, that is such a huge head start for anyone starting their first professional fight. So were you really, were you nervous at all coming into that first fight? You know what? I get nervous before every fight. You know, all these fighters say they don't get nervous and, you know, they just say that. I've said it before, but I'm nervous before every fight because I don't want to lose. And um, it, I just, you know, it, it was, it, it just the whole career was unbelievable. But when I fought under that, under the, that card with Duran, Duran's my idol. So I was all excited, you know. I said, man, I want to impress him. I want to knock this kid out. But it was a hard fight. And, you know, the guy that I fought, um, God damn, I can't even remember his, his name. Uh, I will go, um, I, Okay, Will Grigsby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Will Grigsby. And he became world champion yeah. after that. And, um, so, you know, we had it. We, it was a good, good fight, four rounds. And um, I knocked him down in the fourth round, but I, I didn't finish him. And 
being that you started boxing at, at 14 years old, which is kind of late to the game, but you still were able to accomplish everything and more that you said and that you wanted to do. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned from boxing? Just being, just be, because I'm real quiet. And you know, with all the interviews and everything, you, you look at my, all my interviews, I start laughing. Okay. And once I got used to it, I was like, man, you know, and throughout the whole thing, it's just, I did what I said, and I'm proud. Makes me cry, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but um, all the time. Mm -hmm. So, and I look back, and I watch all the fighters, and I said, man, you got to retire. You, you're messing your whole career up. You, you're staying too long. Don't do it. I know everybody's proud, no matter what. If you lose your last fight, a lot, everybody wants to go out with the win, you know. So I'm very proud of that. And being that, you know, you're, you're such a legend to everyone in the boxing game. Do, who did you look up to as a child? I, I did um, Roberto Duran. That's why, that's why I'm Manita Zerguera. Yeah. So um, that was, I, I liked a lot of them, but Duran was my favorite. I like Alexis Aguayo, all the Mexican fighters like Carlos Sarate, all of them. And um, I've always watched it. I've always followed it. And as I, I said, I'm going to be there one day. But I didn't know I was going to do all this, yeah. you know. And by the end of my career, I looked back and I said, damn. Um, I, and I feel real proud. Uh, what age did you did you know you were going to become world champion? Right right when I um, see my father said I was about seven years old, eight years old when I said I when I said that, because before my first amateur fight, that's when he told me, do you remember what you said? I said, no. He said, do you remember what you said when you were a little young kid? And I said, no. And then he goes, you said you're going to be world champion and retire world champion. He wanted to motivate me, so yeah. I went in there. I lost the fight. It was a close decision, but I said, uh-uh, I'm coming Absolutely. back. Yeah. And now you own a gym here in Arizona. You know, what was it like being a former fighter and now being a trainer as well? Are there different things that you learned being a fighter and a trainer now? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm still learning to train, but I know everything. I'm pretty, pretty much know everything, you know, for all these kids, and I teach them. You know, that's what I wait for. When the, when the kid comes, I can tell if he, if, he don't, if he really wants it or he don't want it. And a lot of them, they stop once they spar in the ring. And I, I always knew that. I, and I, I don't get mad at them or, or disappointed or anything because I know. I know what it feels like, and I expect that. And, uh, but when, when I see them stay and stay dedicated, I love it. You were also inducted to the Boxing Hall of Fame in 2006. What, what was that like for you, that whole experience? Oh, that, was, that was crazy. Oh, man, I was so proud. I cried up there when I talk. I, I still want to cry right now, <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah. it was unbelievable. It was. And what would be the biggest piece of advice you would give to young fighters that want to come into the sport? Just get in there. Make sure you get in there. You love it. Once you, once you feel them punches, they're going to hurt. So don't get discouraged. You're going to get discouraged. And you, you, you want to be a world champion. That's, just put that in your mind and keep it in your mind. And that's it. And you will become one. And lastly, what made you love boxing? What made you stick with it throughout of all the trials and tribulations? Well, I don't know. I fell in love with it. Like I said, I, and I just like to fight, you know. And I wasn't a fighter out, out in the street or nothing like that. You know, I didn't, like, I didn't like all that. You know, a lot of fighters say that, but I didn't, not me. I, when, once, once I got into the ring, that's where, where I fell in love with it. And I said, man, I love this. Even, even I, when I lost, you know, I wasn't discouraged or anything. I said, I want to I want them I again. And so, and it did, and that happened. So I did, and I said, that's it. I'm gonna keep on fighting and, and see what happens. Well, it's such an honor to be here with you.